Welcome to another edition of Baldwin and Creech, Gentlemen of Style. I'm Baldwin. And I'm Creech. And today we're going to bring you our third installment of Shades of Grey. Um, the first two installments, we started with the basic, went to the intermediate, and now we're trying to step it up to that advanced level. Right, right. So today we want to show you the different flavors that we can um, achieve using the gray suit without a tie this time. Um, for example, the entire that I'm wearing today, um, I have the classic white shirt on, button all the way up to the top. We call this an air tie. If you're running late for work, you can throw this um, outfit on, throw a handkerchief in your pocket, and you're out the door. Real easy. You're still keeping it classy. You're still keeping it smooth. Um, it'll work inside of work. It'll work outside of work. Exactly. And with me, I decided to go a little bit different. Um, you know me, I like a little flash, a little pop, a little color. Um, but it's a nice you, color, by the way. That coral, what, what do you call that? Coral, coral blue. blue. Yes, know, that's very nice. That, that, that aqua color. Um, so I want to go with a little bit different, pop it up a little bit more, as I, I like to say. And this time I went with the uh, another vest, um, big on vest too. If you don't, you don't know I'm big on vest, we can talk about that later. Um, but uh, I went with a vest and paired it with the uh, the actual original pants that goes with it. Um, and the great thing about this vest is it has a pocket square holder. So it gives you the illusion that you're actually wearing a jacket almost. Because I can put my pocket square in here, give it a little more flavor, mm -hmm. and then it kind of draws your eye to that pocket square. And then you kind of almost forget that I'm not wearing a tie. Um, ergo the air tie. So, um, <laughs> so... That's, that was something that you know we want to bring to the table today, get you guys to, to see that you don't always have to wear that tie. Right, yeah, you don't always have to wear it. Um, you can get away without a tie. Um, you can do it all week, really, if you really wanted to. I mean, it's good to wear a tie, you know, sometimes because it gives you that, you know, that extra level of professionalism. And people really notice that whenever you add and you take the time um, to add a tie and you match it to your outfit and everything works out, you know, very nicely and everything. So, um, this vest, you know, I'm very interested in this vest that you have on here and it has a pocket in it. Um, would you say this is something that, you know, um, if, you, if you're starting out and you need to add a vest to your wardrobe, would, would, would you recommend um, a person starting out going with something like this? Absolutely. Uh, this to me is a very, uh, it's, a, it's not a unique look, but it's a very clean look right. in, in terms of if you're not a person that likes to wear a lot of suits, but you have to go to events that are somewhat formal and they, 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 you know, they want you to have a certain type of attire, you can get away with this. Um, and, and you know what? That, 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 that raises a good point. Um, wearing a, a vest like this and it has the uh, pocket in it and you paired it with a handkerchief in that pocket, um, say if it's a hot day and you don't want to wear a blazer. Hey, you could wear this vest, pair it with a handkerchief, and you know, you still have a breathability going on because you're not closed in with a blazer or a suit jacket on there. So, I mean, that, that, that adds another level of versatility to your wardrobe. I like that. It's and that's nice. something that you really want. You want to have a versatile wardrobe. You want to be able to move in any circle that you need to, from the boardroom to the happy hour to, you know, just hanging out with friends. You really right. want to have a versatility so that you're not limited and you don't want to limit yourself in life. That's that's the goal in life. Yeah, never don't limit yourself. yourself. Never limit yourself. So, yeah. um, and in doing that, you really don't give a chance to figure out who you are. Right. That's the thing about style. Sometimes you have to figure out exactly yeah. who you are. Yeah. So don't limit yourself. If you think something is a little bit out of reach or something is, is way out there, try it out. Try it out. It may work for you. It may work for you. Just go out there and do it. You know, trial and error. You know, you, you try it, it works. You try it, it doesn't work. Try it again. Right. You learn something. You learn something new. Yeah. You learn something about your style. Your style. Exactly. And um, so I guess that's about it for. Um, that's our last edition of um, Shades of Grey, yep. um, three-part series. If you didn't see, if this is the first one you're seeing, go back and see the other. Go back and see the other two <laughs> yeah. that you missed. Okay, um, you can find them on YouTube, yep. um, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram. Follow us on all of those. Subscribe make, on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Don't just like. Yep. Subscribe. 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 Um, you know, we wouldn't tell you anything wrong. Um, we actually know what we're talking about. Trust me. We, <laughs> we really do. Okay, until next time, I'm Baldwin. And I'm Creech. And as we always say, there's no excuse for good taste. All right. Have a good one.